Those bastards took Darcy. You see which way they went? Westridge, I think. You're going after them, right? You'll save Darcy? Uh, probably, but not on purpose. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll see if I can figure out where they were going. You go. I'll call you when I have something. Right. Uh. <laughs> Oops. These are when you fucking right, calling me. What was that? I'm receiving a distress call from a survivor in trouble. Check your map. What? Is that it? Oh my god, we're so far away, dude. Oh my lord. I'm almost kind of not really not caring at this point. I'm not even halfway through the game yet. <laughs> are we going? Are we going the wrong way? No. Yeah, that is the wrong way, isn't it? No, that, that is the right way. And that survivor in trouble is like the other side of the place. Out of the way. Hey Brad. Obscurus is hunting something. I honestly think it's some kind of horrible zombie monster. Monster? Are you serious? Yeah, I think it's whatever attack the fall. I'm off to Westridge to track it. Talk to you later. Wait, Frank. Tell me. Hello, Paula. Frank, Obscurus has set a trap at the dam. They're gonna catch you there. Really? Talk later. Wait, Frank, tell me. Oh, fuck. Help me, please. Keep firing. Maybe you'll hit something. I'm being wrecked. I just let her out. Run, love. Oh, fuck. I thought it was like clearing the shelter out, unless we're heading that way now. I don't think we're there. Well, no, we're not. We're actually going around it, aren't we? Um, okay. We need a vehicle, but unlike Dead Rising Three, there's like no stationary vehicles. You can just jump in and drive. I don't think, at least from what I've seen. I don't remember the skill point. I want to get out of this outfit, but there's like nowhere to. Oh, here's a car. Just as I was speaking about it. There we go. Finally, like our first car of the whole game. I think it. I think it's because the outdoors doesn't really feature as much in the get uh, devising fours. It doesn't really. It's like. The Rising 3 is like literally the whole entire game is outdoors. Oh, look at that! I got fucking caught. Oh, good. Nothing I can do about that. Approach the disturbance. Oh, for goodness sake. Worth getting sidetracked for? Oh. <laughs> 
Dude, come on. No, you know what? I'm not doing that because it's like down there. It's like I haven't got. Out of the way. Dude, there's like... See, the side missions are so constant, but leveling up is like so fucking easy, dude. Okay, whatever. Does that mean the emergency shelter is... No, it's the other one. I, I almost don't care anymore, I really don't, because I'm like level 28 already, so there's really no need to do any of the side stuff anymore. Usually. I mean, I don't know, man. As I'm approaching the halfway point of the game, it's like, I just, there's something about it I just don't find as enjoyable as the previous game, which is really weird. It's really weird, I know. And I'm not saying that's like bad against the game, but... At least with Dead Rising 1 to 3, there was, there was a lot of it that I enjoyed, you know? Dead Rising 2 was the story. Dead Rising 1 was just having fun with the chainsaw or just slaughtering shit. Dead Rising 3 was again the story. I don't get anything in this story at all. And now we're going to be sent to sleep and I need to get out of this guard because it's weird. See you. Fuck, who are these people? The fuck are these? What? I guess that's the end of the case. Or not. Fuck. What's your business here? What? What in the hell are you doing here, boy? What the hell are My you My name is Tom about? and I'm a hillbilly what man. <laughs> Pig smelling idiots drugged and dragged me here. That's what I'm doing here. Mm. You a photographer? Yes, I work for National Geographic. They sent me up here to shoot the local indigenous vermin. Oh look, I found you all. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Two. No food, they send us two goddamn reporters. Whoa, 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 wait. Vic? Was Vic here? Is she with you? Not really, but I'm kind of her professor. So you got pull with her? Theoretically, yes. Listen, we ain't nothing but good, honest people here. Before this, I was a rancher. Plumber, auction caller, a butcher. Now we're soldiers. Frank! world ain't the same place. You want to stay in Willamette? You want to take your pictures? You're going to have to be a soldier too. My soldier. This oh good. This Vic bitch. I took her in. Shared our supplies with her. Then she wanted nothing but questions. All about our raids on these military assholes. What? Where? How many weapons we got? I thought she wanted in. I thought she wanted in. Now... Now my raiders are out there pinned down in a goddamn ambush because they knew that we was coming. Okay, okay, I get the problem. I can deal with Vic, all right? But I need something from you in return. Don't everyone? <laughs> I need into that dam. Uh. Now listen to me. These people are up to something, okay? I need to find out what it is. Well, Frank. Only one who might know her way into that dam is my engineer Hammond. She was leading that raid. The one that your little buddy sold us up river on. Listen, I'm your best option, okay? Let me go and deal with this. <laughs> hmm. Huh. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let's. But hey. Huh. Don't fuck this up, West. You're one of mine now. Give him the details.
That wasn't the end of the case. God's sakes. Let's talk. Tom survivalists. Come on, Wes, let's go. All right. We gotta help our All people. Right. What's the story? Hammond took a few of hers up to Willamette Junior High. Obscurus has them pinned down. No shots fired yet, but that won't last. But I don't get it. Why are you guys poking that particular badger? There's gotta be other supplies you could be going after. Tom wants to send a message. I get that impression. Look, Hammond's capable, but she can't hold out for long. We better get up there fast, or else Tom will want to poke you next, you hear me? Right. The junior high. I'm on my way. Tom can keep his pokers to himself, thanks. Huh. <laughs>